hi guys i welcome you all back to my channel my name is aisha in today's video i'll be showing you how to cut and sew this unisex ashoki top thank you all for your support god bless you all if you are new to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified stay tuned to the end of the tutorial I have the ashoke here with me. I have one bundle of ashoke. So this is it. So now we need to take the length measurements. The length I'm using is 25 inches. I will be adding one inch to it. One inch making 26 inches. I will be taking the length measurements. I will be taking both the front and back length measurements together. So I'll be taking the front and back measurements together. So I have 26, so this is 26. I'll measure 26 twice. So you can see. So this is 26. So I need to take that measurement twice. This is it. Okay. I will need to cut it this way. Okay. So, the time we fold it this way, you can see. So, this is this, this will be the length, this is how it will look like. You can see. So, this is it. So, now I will be using this measurement to take another one. The shoulder I'm using for this child is 15 inches. So I will need to come here. This is one of it. So I will measure the wideness of this. So I have 6 inches here, you can see. And we are still going to place it on each other this way. Because we still need to sew it downward. We are still going to place it on it this way and sew it downward. So I have a video on that, on how to join your actual case so i'll be dropping the link below for you to watch so we need to place it on each other this way for us to join it and here i will need to take my measurement so you can see two of this is not up to 15 inches two of this is not up to 15 inches you can see so that means i will still need to cut with one of this i will need to cut one of this you can see. so this is it so now we can place it on each other this way so for us to get the measurement so if we should place it like this so because this is how we are going to sew it down you place it on each other this way like this so sew it down so from there we will be taking the wideness so let me take the measurement of the wideness so you can see so this is 15 inches we have 15 inches here. You can see the wideness. So, as his shoulder is 15 inches. You can see it. So, this is 15. So, this is it. So, now I will be sewing it. So, let me place it on each other. Let me sew it downward. You see, this is it. I've joined it together. You can see it. So, this is it. So, I've joined the three pieces together. You can see it. this is it. So now we need to indicate the back aspect. So I'll be using this side for the back aspect. Actually, okay, does not have back or front aspect, but you choose one part of it for the back aspect. You be the one to choose one side that you use for the back and the front. So I'll be making use of this side for the back aspect. So you can see. So this is it. So now for the neck, so I'll fold it this way. This is it. So you fold your ashoke into two this way. And the neck they are using is V neck. 
at the front, but it will cover the back aspect, as in V neck at the front. So the front aspect is V neck. So this is it. So you fold your ashuk into two, so you can see. So for the shoulder, the shoulder I'm using is 15 inches, but here I have eight and a half. So I have eight and a half a. So if I should divide 15 inches by two, that will give me, me seven and a half. And I have eight and a half a, you can see. So this is it. So I can still make use of this. So you can see, I can still make use of this. So I will leave it this way because of this edge. So because of this edge, so I will leave it this way. So I'll be making use of the old shoulder. So I'll make use of this as my shoulder. I'll make use of this as my shoulder. So now we'll come to the neck aspect. So for the neck, the width I'm using is one and a half. I'll make use of one and a half for the width. This is one and a half. And for the front aspect, I'll be making use of three and a half for the depth. So three and a half for the depth of the front aspect. So now what we are going to do now is, so this is our shoulder. You can see, you indicate it with chalk. You know we can't notch it because it's a shoki. So you make use of your chalk. So now I will be folding it this way. So you can see. So I will fold it this way. I have indicate my shoulder. So this is my shoulder. You can see. So this is our shoulder. This is our shoulder. So now. And this is our width. We are making use of one and a half for the width. So this is our width. So here, I'll be making use of, it's not up to one inch. So I'm making use of 0 0.7. So here, so this is it, 0 0.7. So and here, I'm making use of three and a half. You can see three and a half. So it's V neck. So. So this is it. So now I will be cutting it out. I'm making use of four inches because of his hair. So this is it. So now I will be cutting the facing of the neck. So for us to cut our facing for the neck, we need to double it and join it at the center here. So this is the, you can just make use of this. I think this is okay. So this length is okay. Now we need to place it on each other this way and sew it downward. So let me do that. So this is it. So I've joined it together. So you fold it this way, you fold it into two like this, and you place the body on it to cut out the facing for the neck. So you can see. So we place it this way. And we'll be cutting out our facing for the neck. So you can see it. So you can decide to fold it in this way and you can decide to cut it or leave it this way so I'll fold it in like this so I will need to fold it in and I will hem it all around so that's how I will be doing it I will fold it in and I will hem it all around I will be cutting the pockets so because we will be adding pockets to it so I'll come this way this is it I will be making use of eight inches for the length with the folding and everything so this is eight inches so i will be cutting it out this is it so we have two pockets for it so we'll place it at the side so that is all about the cutting so now i'll be showing you the sewing aspect so this is it i will be turning the neck first so you place the facing on it this way you can see
and you will use it to turn it all around. We can see the neck so this is it so now i will need to notch it all around for it to lay now this is it so i'm done with the sewing of the neck you can see so i've sewed it all around so this is the back aspect of it you can see so this is the back aspect of it so now we fold it in this way so you fold it in this way can see so we'll fold it in at the back so. so you come to the center here make sure you are stitching on that side with the matching thread so I will be stitching on this you can see Make sure you are stitching on that side with the matching thread that you are using. Now this is the back aspect too. So, and if you can see, the black side of it is the front part. You can see it. So you can see it. So I'm stitching on that side that match with the right part of it with the matching thread. So that it won't be obvious that we stitch it down there. I'll come to this side also. So here you come to the upper part here also. You fold it in the same way. Make sure it's laid. So this is the neck, so you can see. So now I will be adding the pockets to it. So for me to add pockets to it, so I will be coming down by ten and a half. So this is ten and a half. You can see. So you at the other side too. You make sure the length are equal at the down aspect before placing your pockets. So. I'll come here. I'll measure ten and a half also here from the shoulder. From the shoulder downward, you measure ten and a half. If it is adult, you make use of seventeen inches. So you come down by seventeen inches if it is adult. So because this is children home. So this is it. So I will need to notch it at the center. So we are placing it this way. We are following this pattern. So you fold it into two this way you can see and you notch it so you look for the center you can see this is it so now i will need to fold it at the edge so i'll fold the pocket in first here so after folding i will be placing it on it so let me do that For us to add the pocket to it, you can see where we chalk. So this side, that's where the upper part will be, we start from. So you start from here. So and at this side here, at the side here, I will leave one inch. You can see this is one inch. So I will need to leave one inch. So before I start my, so you fold your pocket in at the side you fold it in and you can decide to leave it this way but i will fold it in so i will need to fold it in this way and decide to leave it that way because they've already weaved the side that place is weaved already so this is one inch you can see this is one inch so from here so 
So, I'll place so in our feet. I've joined the pocket to it, so this is the pocket. So I will be adding the second pocket to it. So this is the second. I will be adding the second pocket to it. So let me do that. I've joined the two pockets, so you can see. So this is it. So now we will be joining it at the side. You fold it this way. You can see the way I fold it. Make sure it's equal at the down aspect a make sure it's equal so you fold it this way so you come to this side i will measure six inches downward i will measure six inches downward from the shoulder so i will measure six inches downward from the shoulder so from there i will use half inch to join it at the side downward so you shape it like this you can see you bring your shape downward this way so at the down aspect here i will need to leave like three inches so this is three inches because i wanted to have feathers at the down aspect here so i will remove it so i'll be showing you that so i'll stop my sewing here can see so I stop my sewing here same thing applies to the other side I'm done with the sewing you can see the shape so you shape it this way so this is it so I will turn it to the right side so this is it so let's come to the down aspect now I want it to have feathers at the down aspect so you will come to this side you can see that they weave this side is a safe is weave already so you can see that it can remove so you will come here so where you want your feathers the length of the feathers you want so as for me so i'm making use of three inches so upward so and this is my so three inches so I'm making use of three inches. Now we'll come to the center here for us to get this center. So we we'll measure three inches. So you measure three inches here. So you measure three inches here also. You can see. So I will trim this off to that three inches. So you just trim this edge, only the edge. You can see you trim off the edge so that if we should remove this you can see so that we'll be able to remove this center thread you can see so that we'll be able to remove this center thread so you can see if you did not trim it you won't be able to remove it so can see you won't be able to remove it so you need to trim it off so you trim this edge off this way you can see now we need to lose this to wear that three inches stop You can see. So same thing applies to the back aspect. So now we'll now come here. You know, I've already lose it. So I'll come here, I'll stitch it so that it won't lose to the upper part. So you will stitch it. So you can see I need to tack it there so that it won't lose to the hand. So you same thing applies to this. You see? So you can see, 
So you continue the process until you get to that place that the three inches stopped. So you see, so you easily remove it if you cut it at the side. The so. So you can see, you can see it. So this is it. So you continue the process until you finish everything. Just make sure you take the measurements you are using, three inches at the back also. I will be taking my three inches at the back also. So let me finish up and show you the finish aspect of it. You can see it, so I'm done with it. So. This is it. So this is what we remove from there. So you can see the tray that we remove and this is what we have. You can see it. So you make sure you measure the length of what you want. You can see, so I took my measurement. I make use of three inches for the down aspect. So you can see, and you make sure you tack it to hold it here so that it won't lose make sure you tack it here so that it won't lose as in your sewing will not lose up so you tack it here to hold it here you can see this side so i'm sure my son will love this if you find this video helpful kindly give it a thumbs up if you have any question or suggestion you can drop it in the comment section below Kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure it turns on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Thanks for watching. Bye.